saturation, or tape saturation, is a phenomenon which stems from analog tape recording. It describes a state in which a voltage level has exceeded the tape's ability to record it. To give you a full understanding of tape saturation, I'll explain quickly how tape recording works. When a signal is being sent to a tape recorder to be recorded, the voltage is sent to an electromagnet in the recording head. Now, the plastic film that you know to be the tape has a surface which is made of iron oxide powder. To record a signal onto the tape, the recording head of the recorder magnetizes each of the iron oxide particles on the tape by varying amounts over time. This becomes a linear representation of the original alternating current. This is where saturation comes in. In a tape recorder, for example, when an input voltage exceeds the system limit or saturation threshold of the tape, the iron oxide molecules on the tape have reached their maximum magnetic potential. That is to say that they cannot be polarized further and so cannot hold any more amplitude. The result is that the signal is compressed and distorted in a non-linear fashion. This means that when part of the signal passes the saturation point, that part of the signal no longer represents the frequencies or amplitudes of the original signal. That is, the actual signal which was sent to the recorder. Instead, it is a distorted, compressed version. Now, it is important to understand what exactly happens to the frequency of a signal when saturation occurs. So, let us consider a single sine wave at a static frequency in an analog system. If it passes the saturation point, the sine wave will be compressed and distorted so to create another sound containing the original sine wave frequency and random harmonics. Remember, this only really applies to the part of the signal that passes the threshold. In the digital domain, clipping is the same principle, however the clip threshold is much more determined, and the clipping process is linear. That is to say, the compression and distortion processing is determined by strict algorithm functions, those are described by a converter. So with all that in mind, most of you are wondering, what does the saturation control on my compressor actually do? Well, it emulates the previously described tape saturation by applying it to a portion of your signal. In many cases, saturation control will have threshold and ceiling parameters. Just as with any other processing, threshold determines the level at which the saturation is introduced. Ceiling will generally determine the maximum saturation level, and you would normally set this to the peaks of your transients, but you can lower it for harsher effects.